The next national park on our list is Badlands, as you can see. We're gonna do the scenic loop. Um, we're gonna try to see some wa more wildlife. Um, hit wall uh, with the famous uh, drugstore. We left Custer State Park to head to Badlands National Park. Before we hit the Badlands, we had a quick stop to make. About 50 miles down the road from Custer is Angostura Recreation Area in Hot Springs, South Dakota. The area has four campgrounds with 171 campsites and 14 cabins. There are 36 miles of shoreline within the park boundaries, and the average water temperature in the summer is a chilly 66 degrees. The campgrounds are packed in the summer with families looking to get out on the water. After walking around the park and catching a pretty sunset, we packed up Miss B. Haven and headed to the Badlands. About 31 miles from Badlands Hotel and Campground is a ghost town. Scenic South Dakota doesn't sound like ghost town material, but I assure you, it definitely has a spooky appeal to it. The buildings have long since been abandoned, including Longhorn Saloon, an old post office, dance hall, train depot, jail cells, and some stores. If you're heading to the Badlands, plan a little time in your itinerary for scenic South Dakota. Old bed. Couple prisoners that didn't make it. This is pretty cool. You never know what you're gonna find in the ghost town. The next national park on our list is Badlands, as you can see. Badlands National Park is a mix of awe and beauty. The landscape ranges from prairies to buttes and contains everything from fossils to sandcastles. Badlands Loop Road is about 40 miles and has 16 scenic overlooks and multiple picnic areas. This scenic drive is an excellent way to see the North Unit. The South Unit, on the other hand, doesn't have any roads that cut through it. The only access is by driving down Sheep Mountain Table or backcountry hiking. Sheep Mountain Table is a dirt road that borders the north and south unit. Some areas of the road are only accessible with four-wheel drive, high-clearance vehicles, so plan accordingly. You know, it's impressive on how much you can be able to see all the different shades and all the millions and millions of years ago from all the different sections, and it's kind of like light tan and brown and it just keeps on going from different sections and how old this area is the fossils we were at mm -hmm. a uh, the fossil little exhibit walkthrough area and just things that they found pretty close to the boardwalk over there just amazing just can't imagine this being here that long ago but you know just like everything else things have been here for such a long time but millions and millions of years the band lads have been around and the Badlands in general are 244,000 acres. <laughs> it's pretty big. We're gonna do the scenic loop. Um, we're gonna try to see some wa more wildlife as we've been seeing uh, throughout season four and just continue to travel around. Um, hit wall uh, with the famous uh, drugstore, one of the largest drugstores in the US. It is, is right? in the world. It's the in largest drugstore oh, wow. in, in the world. And they give out this bumper sticker. And when we were at Custer, we saw this bumper sticker. They had it on some of the guardrails. People had it on their vehicles. So it is a place to stop. And it is just north. If you're going to take the scenic loop, you can just kind of take the scenic loop out going west um, and head kind of northwest. And you'll be able to hit wall and then kind of come back and still be able to see everything. So definitely a recommendation um, that was told to us. And we, uh, we're excited to be able to see that as well, too. So we're going to continue driving around and check out the rest of the Badlands.
One of the cool things about the Badlands is that they offer open hiking, meaning you can hike anywhere you want to. If you look right there, <laughs> there's actually people hiking, I think, somewhere around there. There's actually people open hiking as well, too. Yep, so you can go wherever you want. Um, dogs are not allowed most places here. The campgrounds, they're okay, but most of the trails, the boardwalks, the, the trails they actually have, um, and the boardwalks and stuff, they're not allowed. Yeah. So keep the pups at home. The other thing also about the Badlands and the scenic loops and driving around is there are plenty of picnic areas, bathrooms, they're not luxurious bathrooms, but spot to go to the bathroom is spot to go to the bathroom and uh and then trash cans around so there's plenty of spots if you want to just come out enjoy the scenery bring some food bring your picnic and check it all out you can easily be able to do that behind me is native prairie land it used to be about 50 percent of this was all over the entire continent in north america now there's less than 2% left, but that's really sad. You can take your RV along the scenic loop. Uh, there's no you know, weight restrictions or height restrictions, and they actually have parking for RVs at these overlooks. Which is pretty impressive because some of these spots aren't that big but they still leave enough spot that if you want to because this on um, part of the scenic overloop kind of hitting all the overlooks um, you can uh, get to, to i-90 and so I guess that's why a lot of people come through here they stop take a look and then keep moving on um, but there are a lot of RVs to just move along through to get to i-90 as well it is $30 to get into the park but if you have the annual pass then obviously you don't have to pay anything How's it look? Got my horns and everything. Oh, 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 there it is. Feels super warm in this thing. So she climbs up here, and then we find out there's stairs on the other side. This place is huge. It just keeps going and going. I don't even know how to see all of it because you can't, it's like you have to like zigzag through all the stores and everything. And then you see T-Rex up here. I mean, come on. They have everything here. I mean, everything you possibly think of. Cowboy boots, jewelry, clothes, candy, donuts, five cent coffee, free water. Arcades, uh, pictures with uh, jackrabbits, bison, yeah, you Penny name it. machines, fortune tellers, uh, ice cream, pictures, everything. And, everything. Yeah, everything. Literally. This guy's this guy's gonna eat in a couple minutes, so we're gonna try and try you might and get eat him me. for you. He's looking hungry. Take me down, let's go. Yeah. 
if you go to Wall Drug Store, which we highly recommend, don't think this is going to be just a quick stop. As we've said multiple times, it's huge. It's the world's largest drug store. So we spent over two and a half hours there. That was crazy. Like, I, I did not expect, I knew it was going to be big, but I didn't expect everything that was going on. Kids were having fun. There's picture uh, times. There's huge dinosaurs that are going on. Just so much to do that you would have, I mean, it's a tourist trap in itself, but just so much to do. And it's actually more affordable than some of the things you can do. So our postcard we got was like 36 cents. Coffee is five cents. Obviously, ice water's free. So it, it actually wasn't that expensive. Plus, you get your free bumper sticker. There's, there's three to choose from. So we got this one. We were gonna get up for a sunrise here in the Badlands, but that would be 5.05 .05 in the morning. And that's a little much for us. In the meantime, we're gonna do some hiking. Um, there's just a couple of short hikes we're gonna do. Medicine routes like four miles. A couple other ones are window, door trail. Those are like less than a mile. Right? Nice and short trails. Again, those are ones where you can easily do in 10 minutes or, or less. Um, the Medicine Castle Loop seem to be the bigger one. If you combine those two, I think it's like 10 miles round trip. So we're gonna kind of find the middle loop, Medicine, and yeah, four miles. And there's Notch Trail. That one should be fun. You know, with tall shrubbery, you just never know if there's gonna be ticks. Like in, in this region, I would assume not as many ticks. But this type of long grass makes me a little more worried. So always have some tick spray available on you when you're hiking because you never know. Make sure you always get your companion. We've been hiking almost two miles down the Medicine Route Trail and not too impressed. Kind of surprised that people really recommend this because there's a whole lot of really tall brush. And if you have allergies, I don't recommend going down here. I took allergy medicine and my nose is running, my eyes are running. I'm like, is it pretty? I can't see. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the trail ends up being just tall brush. I mean, it's to your knees that you're walking through. And if I had known that, I would have wore hiking pants instead of shorts, but you just never know how things are gonna turn out. It's this one solid like platform plateau mountain there's all this cactus just hanging out it's the weirdest thing in the world it's like walking down the castle trail and all of a sudden we're like what is that yeah so we started on medicine root loop and then we connected over to castle so it's supposed to be one like loop at least we thought but it's it's not who knows the castle trails is a better trail on the shrubbery and stuff there still is some shrubbery and she did find a tick on her so be aware there yeah. are ticks on this trail. Yeah. So any, again, any shrubbery, like you just never know. Tall grass, so, yep, yep. There's spray, spray, but you still just never know.
The Baja ORV staging area is in scenic South Dakota and only eight miles south from the scenic entrance to Badlands National Park. The area is free to use but not advised during wet or muddy conditions since there's really no place to attach a winch to should you get stuck. The area consists of a lot of prairie lands but also some steep climbs and hillsides. He got his truck all dirty. That's not dirty like we did. Uh... He says it's not that dirty. Guess what he's about to do right now? Yeah, wash it. <laughs> I wanted to test out the Baja ORV. Um, we do have a little clanking noise going on in the back of the truck, so we decided maybe it's probably best to hold off on too much off-roading. So. Uh, yeah, got to got to clean it out, but we got to take it into the dealership to have that looked at. I'm sure it's just something loose, but you just never know. Mm -hmm. 